the night awakens. As the sun dips below the horizon and darkness descends upon Namdifa National Park, a symphony of life begins to play. The night comes alive with an ensemble of creatures, each with its role in this nocturnal performance. It's a time when the forest is adorned with bioluminescent fireflies, their gentle glow creating an enchanting atmosphere. The whispering wind carries the soft hoots of owls perched high in the trees, while the distant call of a leopard echoes through the canopy. Among these denizens of the night is the Namdifa flying squirrel, Biswomoyopterus Biswasi, a creature that adds an element of magic to this wilderness. This enchanting forest, nestled in the northeastern state of Arunachal Pradesh, India, is not just home to the flying squirrel, but also hosts a vibrant tapestry of life. The biodiversity here is nothing short of astounding, with diverse plant and animal species coexisting in this harmonious ecosystem. Welcome to our channel. Chapter 4, Namdifa Flying Squirrel. Welcome to Wild Wonders of India, The Rare Ten, a series that showcases some of the most remarkable and endangered wildlife species of India. In this episode, we will explore the mysterious world of the Namdifa Flying Squirrel, a rare and elusive glider that lives in the dense forests of Arunachal Pradesh. The Namdifa Flying Squirrel is one of the three species of flying squirrels in the genus Biswamoyopterus, and the only one that is endemic to India. It is also known as the Biswasi Flying Squirrel, after Biswamoy Biswas, the director of the Zoological Survey of India who collected the first specimen in 1981. The Namdifa Flying Squirrel has about 160 to 200 scales on its body, which are made of keratin, the same protein that forms human nails and hair. These scales act as a protective armor against predators and parasites. The Namdifa Flying Squirrel is not capable of true flight like birds or bats. Instead, it glides between trees using its patagium as a parachute. It can glide up to 100 meters in a single leap, steering with its tail and limbs. It has a keen sense of smell and hearing, which help it locate its food sources and avoid predators. The Namdifa Flying Squirrel is nocturnal, meaning it is active mostly at night. It feeds mainly on fruits, seeds, nuts, and flowers, which it finds in the canopy of the forest. It also eats insects, such as ants and termites, which it digs out of mounds and logs with its claws. It has a long and sticky tongue, which it uses to lick up the nectar and sap from flowers. It can eat up to 15% of its body weight in one night. The Namdifa Flying Squirrel is one of the most threatened mammals in the world. It is listed as critically endangered by the IUCN Red List 2. It is known from only one specimen collected in 1981 in Namdifa National Park 3. Its range may be restricted to a single valley and it is threatened by poaching for food and medicine, habitat destruction by logging and mining, and diseases such as rabies and leptospirosis. It is among the 25 most wanted lost species that are the focus of Global Wildlife Conservation Search for Lost Species Initiative. The Namdifa Flying Squirrel is a unique and vital part of India's wildlife heritage. It plays an important role in maintaining the balance of the ecosystem by dispersing seeds and pollinating flowers. We need to act now to protect this amazing animal from extinction. You can help by spreading awareness about the plight of the Namdifa Flying Squirrel, supporting organizations that work for its conservation, and reporting any illegal activities involving flying squirrels to the authorities. Together, we can make a difference for the wild wonders of India. Frequently Asked Questions 1. Where is Namdifa National Park located? Namdifa National Park is situated in Arunachal Pradesh, India. 2. How big is the Namdifa flying squirrel? This squirrel is roughly the size of a large squirrel, with a body length of about 30 centimeters, 12 inches, and a tail length of approximately 45 centimeters, 18 inches. 3. Is the Namdifa flying squirrel endangered? Yes, it is considered an endangered species due to habitat loss and poaching. 4. Can I visit Namdifa National Park? Yes, you can visit the park, 
but it's essential to follow ecotourism guidelines and respect its fragile ecosystem. 5. How can I support the conservation of Nandifa flying squirrels? You can support conservation efforts by donating to wildlife organizations, raising awareness, and advocating for responsible tourism in the region. As we bid farewell to the mystical world of the Nandifa flying squirrel, remember that its story is just one chapter in the grand narrative of our natural world. Stay tuned for the next chapter, exploring the enigmatic Malabar civet. Join us in our journey to uncover the secrets of the Malabar civet, another elusive inhabitant of our planet's rich tapestry of wildlife. Subscribe and follow for more wildlife adventures and conservation stories.